Hey folks, Darren Schatz with BNO Auto Sales. Another camper van to show you today. This one is a road trip. Probably one of the biggest names in the camper van. So it's a 97. Uh, what we're going to do is just take a lap around it. We'll show it to you, show you what's good about it, what's bad about it. Take it for a spin, show you the inside, that kind of stuff. So uh, on the on the uh, camera today, again, is Zach. Thanks, man. Because <laughs> he holds it way steadier than I can. So uh, let's uh, take a lap around it. 97, 138 on the miles, uh, 5.9 V8, 360. Overall, it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, it's relatively clean, does have a little bit of rust on it. Brand new Michelin tires. Lots of little compartments. There's your sewers, there's your propane. Down in here we've got Pretty good sized compartment on here for it's an outside shower, um, your electrical, and this uh, this will hold 150 pounds. So Zach, you can ride in here. Yep. Yeah, good. There's a light for you too. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Place for snacks. Right. Right. Here's the back of the refrigerator door. It is a brand new refrigerator unit in there as well. So some faded paint down on the bottom there. Nice. Uh, Nice chrome wheel covers, made of paint down here. Uh, there's no generator in this. It is set up for a generator if you want to put one in. On the back, spare tire. Uh, air conditioning unit is up there. There is some rust down on the bottom of this door. On the bottom of that door is kind of rusty. Underneath is very clean and solid. What I like about it, it's not all beat up. The bumpers aren't pushed in. It's not all di no dings and dents and that kind of stuff. It looks like it's been taken care of. Nice awning. I'm gonna get in the shade. Lucky. And yes, we have the unit running because we got the air conditioning on because it's really hot out today, and we don't want to sweat when we start going inside because I, I don't have a powder guy to powder my face, so I, you don't want to see me sweat. I can give you a number for that. I think I'm good. Okay. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, so water, uh, water heater, um, and then that's your exhaust for the uh, furnace. So this side's actually a little bit cleaner. The um, burning boards aren't faded or anything like that. The paint shiny looks nice on this side. On the inside, it's actually really clean. This right here is where you fill the water tank up. A road trek uh, tradition. Feel the AC. Oh yeah. I'm going in because it's cool in there. These are kind of nice. These it's got the door screens on it where you can unzip them right here. Open the window and then zip them up so you've got uh, bug free camping, sort of. Sort of. Yeah, not bug free, but bug limited camping. I'll hop in a second. Now this is the The Versatile uh, 190, which the Versatile has four seats, so you can drive four with seat belts normally. And then these two front seats go down into a bed, kind of a small bed, kind of a lumpy bed, but for throwing kids on there, they got a place to sleep. So it's kind of a neat setup, and then it has a table here. These seats will fold around. It has a Dodge Road Trek. Overleaf table that fold out like that, so you can have four people play cards. This thing actually seats seven for dinner four here, three back there. So you could have a big old bash in this thing if you wanted to. So that's kind of neat, a little bit different layout. You could actually bring a family of four in here. So Inside, you've got your all your normal camping stuff. Uh, three refrigerator. Again, this refrigerator is brand new uh, as far as the, the workings of it. Um, it. The refrigerator itself is original to the unit, but it had to be rebuilt. But a brand new refrigeration unit works great. It's freezing cold. Microwave, roof, roof vent, or a stove vent with your fan. 
uh, two burner stove, obviously water, full water tanks, full water hookups, fully self-contained, self-contained minus a generator. Uh, let's see, air conditioning unit is new as well. It does have a full bath, and this bath folds out like this. One door here, one door here for privacy. Hi, Zach. Hello. And then uh, the shower floors down here, you remove this carpet, you got your shower drain here, and then the shower curtain comes out around here. And then you got your exhaust fan, so it does have a nice size shower in it. I'll let Zach show that to you when it comes up here. This is how you turn the battery on. Oh yeah, turn, yeah, turn the lights on. Oh. Look at that. All the lights are on. That turns a 12 volt. That turns a 12 volt on for the uh, for the whole coach itself. So you can shut it off and save the battery. Okay, we don't want to look at you right now. And we're back. All right. So yeah, I can see three people here. Turn the table where you want it. Um, Kleenex box. Look, it's got a Kleenex storage box. That's, you don't see that every day. That's worth 12 grand. <laughs> uh, this is for television. Got the cable hookups inside there. Pretty slick. So, again, again, this folds down into a pretty good sized double bed. So, that's about it. Furnace is up here, your thermostat. Oh, show them the remote control. And there it is. Remote control for the air conditioning. So you don't have to go like this. You can just use the remote control. That's awesome. Anything else to add, Zach, while we're in here? That I missed? Um, how that goes to a bed? Yeah, this goes to a bed. We're not going to show that to them. They can see that on the, on the website. There's pictures of that. So. All right, I'm sweating. And uh, we're going to take it for a ride now. Awesome. So before we take it for a drive, we, we put the seats back together so you can see the four seating, the captain's chairs, and then they'll show you the, uh, the dashboard and stuff. That AC feels really good. So you said the front speakers don't work, right? Is that what we found out? Correct. But the back speakers work. Yep. Okay. You gotta hit the power button power if you button. want sound. That help? Genius. Alright. All right. In storage up here. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like the little uh, leveling things that they put up here too, so you know when you park, you're on the level. Yeah, because you can't tell by yourself. No, you can't. I can't. I need that. Also, curtains. Got curtains that go all the way around the front. Every window has curtains on it. Got the awning tucked away, so that's what it looks like with the awning, awning put away. I uh, wanted to show you around the back and show you inside the back door. It's nice and clean. Lots of storage underneath here, and underneath here is a 12 volt battery for the coach. And of course, a curtain in the back here. So that's uh, that's the view from the back here. That is all. Now we'll take it for a drive. Okay, we're going to take the road truck for a spin around the block, see how it runs out, find out what works, what doesn't. Let's go for a ride. The motor's got the acceleration it's supposed to. It uh, runs very smoothly. We've actually done quite a bit of work on this. Um, so a lot of mechanical stuff done on it. I'm going to try not to hit this worker up here before, and so I'm going to pay attention to this before I say anything else. Hey, hey, we missed them. Excellent. But uh, all new front brakes, new tune-up, um, new water pump, new belts, oil changes, filters, that kind of stuff. So the general maintenance has been gone through. Uh, it actually runs out excellent. The back brakes are about brand new. The suspension is tight. The exhaust is good. So overall, it's a good turnkey mechanical unit as well. Brand new Michelin's on it. 
no leaks. AC blows cold. Horn works very good. Let's uh, do a brake check here a second. This stops nice and straight, no pulsations. Better not be since brand new front brakes, you know, they're all in good shape yet. Transmission shifts nice. Overdrive transmission, you'll get about uh, probably 13, 14 miles to the gallon on this on the highway. Um, averaging probably 12, 13 overall. And we've safety checked it as well, all the, um, the wipers, the uh, lights, the turn signals, the brake lights. Everything works on it. It does have your normal cruise control, power windows, power locks, power mirrors as well. That's about as fancy as they get on these uh, these Dodge vans in, in this vintage. But overall, it's a really good value for this thing. Um, probably one of the least expensive road tracks that are out there, but again, there's not a generator in it. You can always get a portable generator, hook it up. There is, It is wired for it, it is set up for it. If you got the Gen 200 Onan or 2000 Onan, that would literally bolt right in and plug in. Uh, but they're not cheap. New ones are probably 25, three grand. You can get used ones for 700 to 1500 out there if you poke around for them. So. Uh, again, the radio, the front speakers don't work on it. The back speakers do. I have not looked into that. But yeah, so overall, just a nice coach. I like it. It's a little bit lower top, so you do get better fuel mileage driving down the highway. It's not quite so tippy as the taller ones are. You know, it's just a Dodge van. You can park them anywhere. You can drive them anywhere. Of course, you know that. That's where you're looking for one, right? Yeah. So, uh, but if you're interested and need some more information, feel free to give me a call. My number is 616-318-0118. And uh, on the website, you can check the website for pricing and availability. That's uh, dndlautosales.com, and the and is spelled out. So check those out for uh, and, and for other ones. We do have these in all the time. So. Um, what we're going to do next is uh, just take it for uh, do a couple drive-by videos so you can see this uh, this thing going down the road. So we will talk to you in a minute. Imagine that going through like the mountains of Colorado or down through Kentucky. That's where this thing needs to be, right? Yep. I mean, not on division at a used car lot. So someone buy this thing and, uh, you know, take it out, run it through its paces, do it, use it for what it's intended for. So I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks, Zach, for your help. Yes, sir. All right. Have a good day, folks. See ya.